Hi, this is Aidan from Southwest Systems. Um, I'm just going to over, just going to show you an overview of our cloud back office software, which is really uh, functional, really easy to use, very reliable. All our zero waste customers have this, and um, I just want to take you through it. It's all web based. It's very simple, and we're just going to go through all the functionality. So. Without further ado, um, we're going to show you branches first. So branches, if you are a franchise chain or just an independent, we can you can add on a second branch or multiple branches with the same sort of file type, the same product file, and then you can run into branch reports and choose which reports export, etc. Um, so it's very easy to use, and a lot of our customers have the multi-branch setup. But if you're an independent, you just have one branch. Users is the number of cloud users on the back office software. So we can do manager users, we can do store owner users. In this case, there's two users, but if you want to add a new user, it's very simple to do. We can add as many cloud back office software users as you want to access the cloud to do product maintenance reporting. But um, we can also obviously have as many staff users on the front end till, again, there's no limit. You can have 100, 200, whatever. Reports is where you're going to do all your reporting. So you've got like a favorites area which you can allocate certain reports that are popular. And then the popular ones um, that customers are going to run is going to be the sales Z read, which is looking at any data, any report uh, from after you've done a Z read and then before. And then you also have sales, which is real time. So you get real time information from the till each time a staff member presses cash or card. So sales Z is what you're going to probably use. So for instance, let's look at this item sales per branch. So what has been sold in the store? And all you do is you run the report and then it would display the information. So here we've got a list of the zero waste store products. Uh, we've got baking, pulses and beans, cereals, cleaning. And then in that, we've got the individual products that were sold. Now, obviously, if it's a weighed item, your values here, your when it's a weighed item, it's going to be your self-service touchscreen uh, zero waste or scale that's going to be controlling the price per kilo or the price per 100 grams. And that's going to be then scanned at the checkout at one of our Southwest Systems tills. So as you can see in here, it's all itemized of what you've sold with a quantity value. And then there's always a department value. And then for every single report, there's always a branch total at the bottom. So if we go up near the end of the report, we'll see there's a branch total. Uh, there was 165 items and we took £1,578.93. And these were the discounts that were done. Now every report is all electronic and it's all date rangeable. So you can go yesterday, last week, last month. And it's just like a booking system in the sense, right, we can go back a year, five years, two months, and then choose the date range. Choose your branch because you can look at individual branches and then also certain reports have access like this one. We can say, OK, let's just uh, let's just look at the baking pulses and cereals and then run the report so you can actually narrow the report. Now, once you've done that, uh, you'll get the data showing and then basically you can print a report. Every report can be printed to A4 and then more importantly, every report can be exported to PDF, XLS and CSV. So XLS is Excel. These are the most common outputs, but we have got all the other outputs there. So it's fine for new digital tax laws. Accountants love this. Um, we are also looking at shortly in developing uh, integration to Xero, QuickBooks and Sage, but that's going to be an additional development which is in development at the moment. So I don't have a, a timescale for that, but we will be done and will be available. So once you run your reports, um, you can go back. Um, you've can run other reports so let's look at cash by branch so cash by branch is your end of day summary for one till or as many tills in the branch it's your financial report which will look exactly the same as your z -re that you do on the till physically so let's put this now in pdf so i've downloaded it to pdf and i'm loading it now to pdf um, so i can obviously email this report to my accountant to my partner and this is an overview of what has been taken that day. So you've got your net sales, and you always go by your net sales. There was 49 transactions, 168 products. The net is £1,562.97, and the gross is here. Now, the gross is higher than the net because we've done some discounts. So whenever you're cashing up, you always go by your net. Cash in draws what you take in cash. Credit in draws what you take in credit card. The system can also do cash declaration if you want your manager 
to cash to declare basically how much cash and card they've got. These are the discounts done. Uh, so thirty-five pounds. There was RF is refunds. Tax one. What's taxable at twenty percent? So you're VAT at twenty percent, and TA one's what to pay HMRC. Um, or the other way around, sorry, no, that's the TA1 is what's taxable, tax one is what's to declare HMRC, and then the same for we can do tax two level, which is 5%, tax three level, which is non tax totals, or we actually have a separate report here for non tax totals. And then financial two, if you go further down the report, you've got more important information such as how many voids were done, there were four voids, how many discounts were they done, item discounts, total discounts, staff discounts. Because all these discounts can be renamed. So if you want them specific discounts or a loyalty discount, then we can do it. This uh, setup has an offline card button. Um, we recommend all our zero waste or customers to go with our card partners we work with. Uh, mainly because, one, we can integrate with them. The rates are really competitive, some of the best on the market, and the integration is free of charge. And obviously, if you're already with a uh, credit card company, then we can also buy, up, buy you out of your old contract up to £3,000, um, depending on the offers going. So do get a quote from us. Don't buy the card machine until you've spoken to us and have the quote for the till, and then we can integrate with our card partners. And again, we can send you a quotation for that. In this report, you've got a list of departments uh, information here. Then you've got groups and cashiers who took what. So if we go, um, if we go back um, and then look at, say, I know another report, monthly cash sales. Now, this is a really good report for accountants. They like to see all the information. So this is a calendar month. I'm running September. And this time I'm going to put it into uh, Excel. So you can see how quickly it takes. It takes literally a couple of seconds. You downloaded it and you open it and it's already formatted for CSV or Excel. So this can be emailed to your accountant. Or, in fact, we can actually give your accountant a login uh, to see this information. Um, I can't quite move across here because it's the way it's formatted. But basically, um, you can see it's all formatted in Excel or columnized. So this actually shows net sales, cash, credit card. If I actually put this in PDF, this would be a bit, lot better to show you. Here we go. So we've got here... The day is day 10, September the 10th, that's the date. Gross sales, net sales, cash, credit card, discounts void, refunds, and the tax totals here. So excluding that, VAT to pay, and again for the different tax rates, so 0%, 20%, 5%, whatever applies. So that is as easy, that's how easy it is to run the reports. Um, and a lot of customers love it. And again, like I said, you can actually give your accountant a login you can just show them the cash by branch and they can just pull off the report. It's as simple as that. Moving on to security, we've got the journal. So when you do a Z read, you get um, all the each transaction. Obviously, this is on the till in real time, which staff can print out. But let's take this one here. We've got a lot of items sold here. It was done by Laura, date and time stamp. Any item discounts done, any voids, we can do void reasons. And it's easy as that to monitor who's doing what. You've also got then from the journal, um, you can choose specific tills and specific days and you can target specific words to find information. Now we move on to the sales log. Sales log is even more enhanced security. So this, what this will do, this will actually show you the data uh, for what staff, have t who, which staff have done what. So again, you can run a date range of everything and this will show you um, if I put this in PDF, what each staff member has done, because you can target individual staff. So you can see, based with your CCTV, who is doing what, uh, who's done voids, who's tendered it off, what discounts were done. Here we go, a lot of voids are done here. Um, you can put void reasons in as well, and the list goes on. But this is a really good security report that you can monitor staff with. And you can also see who's pulling their weight, who's serving, who's not. The dashboard is a module, but a lot of customers have this. Um, depending on the system, we sometimes include it. But it, you have to, um, normally this is a chargeable module, but it depends what you want to use the data for. But again, what this is, this is more for tablets and smartphones. So if you want to see this data on your tablet at home and see an overview of what's going, what's happening with the business, then you can save the reports save the data um, and then it will display the data in a particular format 
So in this case, I've got real-time cash sales. I've got my department sales here. I've got group sales here if the group applies. And it's basically just displaying all the data. And you can run it over any date range you want. In this case, I'm doing it today because this is the only date range I've got. And all the, all the data can be saved and monitored from here, from your smartphone tablet. We can also change the theme. So if you want to, I've changed the theme here. So we've got this different layout now, um, which is really cool. Uh, theme changes, as you see on smartphones, uh, very popular now. Till communication report, you know, are we getting data? Are we not? With a date and timestamp, really interesting, really easy to use. And then the balance report will tell you if there's any discrepancies each day. So you can tell from the cloud if there's a discrepancy. Again, we've got other reports such as like top 50 sellers. And you can set this by top 50 or top 20 by volume or amount. Obviously, volume is going to be popularity. And it will tell you what's popular, both uh, weighed and non-weighed. Moving on to the programming now. So we moved on from reports to programming. The programming area, if you want to change prices, you just go in the prices. Now, if it's anything weighed on the zero waste store scale, now that is controlled by the scale itself and the back office scale software. So as you can see here, arrowroot, baking powder, bicarbonate of soda, this is all zero because the scale is controlling the price. When you print the barcode, if you adjust the weight, you get a new price, uh, get a new barcoded label, which will be a different price. So the till for weighed items is always zero. So that's controlled the prices from the scale software. Now, obviously, if you've got anything that's non-weighed, so if we find something here non-weighed, like gifts, so this beeswax candle, this is where I can change the prices. So let's change these prices like that. You just select all, apply to all branches, save the changes, and that's done. And then you can do other changes, add new items. And then once you're done, you just press this prepare data for sending, prepare, and that just sends the information down. It's as easy as that. If you want to add a new product, okay, let's just say we're going to add a new gift. So we've got a new candle. So this is a bee, let's go click on the beeswax candle. If you go clone, this button up the top right here, clone. And if we copy from the same item from the same department, so let's just beeswax candle large. So I've got... A, so that was just a standard size. Let's do large. And I make this 10 pounds. Then that will just save the item. And that's it's as easy as that. That's added now. I go back, prepare data for sending, prepare, and those changes will be on the till. We've also got other information. So if I go clerks, let's just say Aiden here is left. And we're going to change it to Jonathan. OK, that's all you do. Change the name, saved. Again, you know, you're just changing the name because that person's left. Again, back, prepare data for sending. Those changes will be done. Now, you don't need to press prepare data, prepare data for sending each time. You can make 5, 10, 50, 1,000 changes, price changes, whatever. Then once you're done, you press prepare data for sending. You do an open on the till, and that will pull the data from the cloud uh, for each branch. If you want to do mix and match, we can do that on the scale, which can be set so that when it hits a certain weight, uh, price per kilo, price per 100 grams will, be, will drop. So say you do over 5 kilos or 10 kilos or tw uh, 12 kilos, it will drop to a cheaper price per kilo. And then we do mix and match on the till itself. So two for a set price, three for a set price. So whether well, that's bags of crisps or whatever you're selling, um, candles, anything, chocolate, that can be done like that. We do, or less, there's about 12 different mix and match options here. We've got it fully covered for that. Now, if you want to look at, say, void reasons, and we want to change, add some more reasons, I've added guest change mine here. Uh, you can add reasons, and then when, when the staff are voiding, it will tell you why they're voiding, and they will log it in the sales log. There's other information here, but that is, we've got quite a lot of other things like tax and a few other things, but that is normally set by us initially, and we'll triple check that for you so your store's up and running. Stock is, we do stock on the scale till, now most people just have the item sales, but stock is a module. So if you wanted to look at non-weighed items in terms of stock, so non-weighed as in like the gifts, the beeswax candle, the chocolate, stuff that you don't weigh, which is easily accountable for, with minimal wastage, then the stock module can be added on and you get orders, wastage, supplies, stock takes, stock period, ingredients, units, okay? 
So it's purchase ordering with suppliers. Uh, and then you can do minimum, max, sale suggested, blank, templated orders. Now, if you want stock control on the scale, we can do that. But most, almost all our zero waste customers don't have that. It's an option to add on and it can do it in real time. But obviously, it's based on the fact that when you print a label, it's going to then tell you that that stock is sold. So if customers do print labels um, and don't tell you, then stock will be sold. So it's not it's with a when you're using a self-service machine it's not ideal to do that um, but we do have a report add-on which is very low cost to add on to the system for the scale side which will actually tell you how much weight sold of the product so most customers go for that but if you do want real-time stock we can do it for additional cost um, finally we do do time and attendance I, most customers don't have this um, this clock in clock out and normally a lot of zero waste stores is one or two employees which is very easy to monitor um, but if you do want it, we can do it. Uh, again, it's all integrated into the Cloud Back Office software. We are looking to add on stuff like um, integrate into account software, so zero integration, QuickBooks, Sage. Uh, it's in development. Um, it will be done shortly, but I don't have any information at the moment, but we are looking to do that as well. But like I said, for digital tax laws, all information can be exported to PDF, Excel, CSV, and you can give your account and login, which is perfectly legal, perfectly fine for digital tax laws at the moment, so that's no problem. Uh, if you want a quotation, please email us, um, info at southwestsystemsuk.com or my personal email, aden, A-D-E-N, at southwestsystemsuk.com. Um, or better still, if you could go on the website, if you go southwestsystemsuk.com, you click on this here, get a quote in the top right here, get a quote, uh, just fill in your information here, uh, in this box, submit it, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours with a quotation. We are one of the leading zero waste store uh, sort of till uh, self-service touchscreen suppliers. We do it all. We do the card machine, the EPOS system, and the zero waste scale. We have a lot of customers of zero waste, and um, we have a lot of experience doing it. And more importantly, our prices are very competitive, and we could we have a lot of functionality. Um, so if you need that, please, please uh, inquire with us and look forward to hearing from you.